Alright, so you know what I mean? So, you know, I got, I like Mag. You know what I mean? I just explained that, that I like Mag. H. Bond, I like H. Bond, you know, formerly known as Sport or whatever. H. H. Body now. I think, I, I really dig him as far as his lyrics. I think he the one of the, and I don't think it's a joker really hotter than him lyrically. I don't think it's a nigga really hotter than him. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's a real hot dude. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like Nate G's, you know what I'm saying? I think I like Nate G's for he, he I mean he real creative with it. He 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 different. Now and one reason, another reason that I like him is because he got his own style. You know what I mean? Nate G's, you know, he come off. Yeah, I'ma explain every rapper, I'm explain why I like him. You know what I'm saying? So Nate G's got his own style, you know what I'm saying? He it's like it don't necessarily I mean he's original. I like originality and he's very original. You know what I mean? So I, I like that's, that's what I like about Nate G's particularly. I like Giovanni. I don't know, Giovanni just he's a hell of a performer, you know what I'm saying? He keeps his performance got me. So I fuck with Giovanni. Um shit. Damn, what's I like? Um let's see that's three, we got two more. I ain't even put myself on this drink, cause you know what I mean? I I don't I think that's I think judging yourself, of course you're gonna say you hot, so I'm gonna say I'm corny, fuck it. I'm gonna say I'm the corniest nigga in the city, so I ain't even gonna put myself on there. Uh, damn. Um, damn, thank you. I mean, Nav Nasty pretty nice. You know what I mean? I dig Nav Nasty a little taste, you know what I mean? He, he got some tough shit, you know what I'm saying? He got some tough shit. Uh, Too many niggas, man. I like I like art. You know what I mean? Kumar, yeah, I like art. Art, art yeah. pretty art pretty tough with it. I ain't heard that from him in a long time, but he pretty tough. But on some real, I mean, on some real shit, I could easily say I don't really like nobody because nobody put music out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really put the music out on a consistent basis or on a basis as if you would think ain't no niggas in the city trying to really be no rappers. Niggas just rap. It's like niggas don't want to make a career out of it. They just doing it. Just to be doing it. Because ain't nobody got no music out. So I ain't really... I can't sit back and pop a nigga in and listen to him. I mean, I dig Young Chief. I dig... I mean, Young Chief, he... Young Chief is consistent. But is But Young, Young Chief give me a lot of... I'm being honest. He's consistent. But a lot of his music is like... is, is Sounds the same. Like... He had like four mixtapes out, and I mean, I'm not coming at Young Chief because I dig Young Chief and I like Young Chief, but I just feel as though a lot of his music is the same. Like, I like his music. It's good. It's not bad music. It's good music, but it's just like, usually, like music like changes. It'll go up or it'll go down or hopefully it'll keep going up. But his music is just like, you know, it's just like horizontal. It just it, on a graph. It's just like it never changes with, with Young Chief. So. I like him cheap, but I think he need to change his music up a little bit. Um, shit, man, that's, that's pretty much it, man. If it's, uh, it's probably other jokers, man, but right now, I mean, he caught me at an interview at a, at a time I was in deep, I was in deep thought, and I'm sitting here lunching, so I can't really think of a lot of niggas off top. But for the most part, you know, what I mean, those few niggas that I named is what I could think of. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 my top two. I'm gonna have to say it's Magnifique and H. Bonnie, man. Magnifique and H. Bonnie is my top two. You know what I'm saying? I, I really dig them dudes as far as on the rap tip. You know what I'm saying? I, I fucks with them. I got uh, two more questions for you. Um, yeah. How you feel about this Mary Swain guy? Just want to get into that little topic Mary, real quick. Mary Swain? Oh, uh, well. Um, I don't read nothing about Mary Swain. Me personally. I mean, you know, he. He got a, I mean, he got a lot of good insight. I mean, but I don't know nothing about the dude. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know a lot about Mary Swain. Um, from from what I from what I know, and I'm being honest, he used to didn't like me. I, I do know that, but he's pretty cool with me now. You know what I'm saying? But I know I was told. I remember that could be he say she say though. But I was told he didn't like me. But I'm sure he. I mean, he might like me now. I mean, I don't really know him to talk about him, you know what I'm saying? I know he doing it. I know he had a studio, he doing his thing. Uh, executive bull. I mean, I don't know nothing about Mary Swain, so I really couldn't tell you nothing about him. I mean, he never did nothing to me, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know nothing about Mary Swain. And last question, I mean, because you know it's going to come up on the DVD, like, the, about the name situation, I mean, you mm -hmm. shape 
and it's another shake. I, you know what I mean, from the Bennett. I can take it. Yeah, I mean, I know y'all had something going on back in the day. I don't know what's really going on with that, but I mean, if you want to speak on that. Um, I, I never really had no, a lot of comment on that. I mean, we just, it was a coincidence. We had the same name. We're uh, good now, you know what I'm saying? We're yeah. straight between us now. We're we doing pretty good. Okay. Good to hear that. Yeah.